Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics with some really fun tote bags. We all need tote bags for our busy quilting life, the gym, grocery shopping. We need bags all the time. Toddlers, all of their things, their toys. The Maxwell Bag by Abby Lane Quilts is easily one of the most popular patterns we've ever had for bags. I love this bag. It's so spacious, lots of pockets. The handles are a lot of fun pockets on the outside, the phone, the keys. Um, you can just imagine the possibilities are endless. We made it in Posey, and also we made this in Robin Pickens' Pansies Posies. That's also the quote behind me is the Diamond Garden, another video that we filmed. That's the uh, fabric on the set. But you can see whether it's in bright purples or more shabby chic and these pastel colors. This bag is so fun, so cool and versatile and useful. So what I'm doing today is not actually a tutorial. It's more of an overview of what we're offering for the Abbey Lane kits. We have a fabric kit available that will show you all what will include all of the fabric to do, of course, the whole bag, including the handles. Same here with the purple version. The add-ons for this, because we know you didn't need to buy the pattern twice. Maybe you're going to make both of these. The pattern, the Maxwell bag pattern, is a separate add-on. Now, as you can imagine, to make a bag of this girth, the size, these handles, that's what this kit is over here. Some of you have a whole room of that stuff and maybe you don't need that. But if you're like me, I'm a quilter. I don't have any of that stuff. We went to the trouble of putting that all together for you so that the items on the back of her pattern, which are specifically foam stabilizer, the Temtex, this cording, and then four purse feet, these have these little feet on the bottom, which is a lot of fun, are also included on that. So if you're gonna be picking up one of the kits, be sure to grab your pattern if you don't have that. And of course, this lovely package for you of all the accessories that you'll need to put the bag together. Now, in addition to that, the other things that we needed to make our bag are on the set with me. So I'll just go through that. You can decide if you need any of these or maybe you don't, maybe you've got everything. Creative Grid Rulers, that's our rule of choice. Maybe you've got some rulers at home. Specifically, I'm gonna jump over to this side of the table. We definitely found the tube turner to be helpful when making these handles, invaluable actually. So I definitely wanna bring your attention to that. If you sometimes sew a tube and need to turn it through for any project, that's a great option. We've done a video on that product. Of course, our point turner, again, as we've turned things through, just helping to smooth things out whether it's the point or the curve, we have both on the Clover point turner. The Karen Kate Buckley scissors are very sharp. I use them when I've got a lot of bulk going, especially with products like this. My, uh, you know, my normal Kai scissors, those are for quilting. Those are for light duty. This is for plowing through all of that material. And that's a great resource. And of course, the normal things, the rotary blade, thread. But those are the ones I definitely want to call your attention to. And of course, pick up your kits. We have very limited amounts of that. Your pattern, your accessory pack, and any other kits you might want here that might coordinate, including the quote behind me. Uh, there's so much coming your way. We're on fire for 2023. I am so excited. There's more uh, ideas flowing across our design room uh, tables every day. If you haven't subscribed, do that. Let your friends know, subscribe, and I'll see you soon on another shabby video.